Hey, what's up? The Brew Dude is back here with another beer. So I have another BJ's Brewhouse beer here. Once again, uh, good friends of mine gifted a bunch of beers from BJ's for me. They hit me up and said, hey, The Brew Dude. Well, they don't call me The Brew Dude, but sometimes they do. Um, they said, hey, I got some, I'm here at BJ's. They have some pretty cool beers. I'm gonna bring you some, okay? So they brought me a bunch of cases. In this case here, this is the Kolsch uh, style beer, the Blonde, Brewhouse Blonde. It's 4.7 ABV, 12 fluid ounces, brewing since 1996. Check that out. This is the uh, the graphics on it. Pretty decent graphics. Spend a lot of money in just wrapping this can. But remember, like we've said it before and we'll say it again, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter all the graphics or the prettiness. What matters is what it tastes like. And that's what I'm here so that I can experience it for you so that you don't have to go spend your money, your hard-earned money, and not like the beer. Look at that. That's calculated. Look at that. Define physics. Look at that pour. It was actually a pretty decent pour. We got a little mix on the beer. We got a little head to bring out those aromas. Aromas, light, light aromas. Very citrusy smelling. Maybe some biscuit, like think of like maybe like a saltless cracker or something. Hops, definitely grain. Think about like opening a bag of grain. Huh? If you've never been, go to a local uh, homebrew store and smell the grain. That's what you're getting. White, white head. Cheerio water. Um, get the, not the honey nut Cheerios, just the basic Cheerios. Get that one and smell it. It's kind of the aroma that you're getting with a little bit of citrus notes. Great color. It's a blonde hay. Um, it's not not as clear, not very clear. It still has a little bit of murkiness in there, but it's all good. This is the Kolsch. It's once again, it's 4.7 4. ABV of crisp beer. At least that's what we're expecting, right? If you ever had a Kolsch, you want them to be nice and cold and crisp. I actually let them cool down a little bit too. Yeah. These style craft beers, a lot of uh, beers that don't use a lot of, uh, uh, what is that called? The term, like adjuncts and stuff like rice or or, 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 or corn, which I don't know if they use it here. Uh, I'm hoping not. They don't have the ingredients here, but those beers, you can cool down a little bit and this still tastes very, very good. Anyway, let's go for it. Let's top it off a little bit because I don't want you guys to say that I'm not enjoying the beer. Look at that, fit perfectly. 12 ounce can in a container that holds 12 ounces of beer. Cheers. Okay, very light, watery almost. Slight notes of um, grain all the way from the beginning to the end, there's, a, there's definitely grain involved. Maybe like a... Uh, easy some kind of maybe two row or equivalent uh, that they use very light definitely not boozy at all crisp clean light to medium body more on the lighter side um, easy drinking doesn't taste bad um, not a lot of hop flavor not a lot of alcohol flavor definitely just grain think of like watered down grain which is cool sometimes you want those sometimes you want those nice crisp beers not a lot of citrus notes based like even on the aroma, but it's more on the aroma. So this one is where you're drinking, you're inhaling, you're smelling. I almost choke. Don't don't inhale while you're where you're drinking it. Is it good? Yeah. Is it something I'm gonna reach out of my way? No. There's other good, better beers that there is out there, but if you're in BJ's and you're having that steak or that greasy meal or those whatever they have, right? You definitely want this to clean the palate, right? This is something like a palate cleanser. If you're out with your friends, do it. I mentioned it before in my previous video. It doesn't matter how many people you have around you, but the people that are around you should bring quality to your life to help support just everything with your endeavors, whether it's business or everything that you do. You should choose them right. It's quality over quantity. Do it safely, protect each other, be safe, take Ubers, what lifts, whatever you have to do to get home safe. That way you can put up the YouTube videos, go to the Brew Dude and check them out. Um, there's also, um, I started a little TikTok where I do little quick little reviews, so check that out too. It's also the Brew Dude, links in the description. 
Uh, but check them out. Check up all the all the platforms. You know, I, I appreciate all the support that you guys all been giving me. I get emails and messages all the time saying, hey, you know, I love watching your videos. And that's what I appreciate. I think we're getting close to that 1000 right now. So, you know, thank you for all the support. Let's just continue this. Thank you for watching, subscribing and liking. And with that said, the brew dude is out.